Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to get to a very highly requested video that you guys have been messaging me about like crazy for the past like two or three weeks, ever since my wardrobe basics video. And that is how to find your perfect denim. If you like this video while you're watching it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video also while you're watching it, please don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button down below. I post videos every single week regarding fashion, beauty, style, and tips from a stylist. And I would love to have you come and join this community. Now, speaking of communities, I would also love to have you guys come and join Style Squad. I just started a new group on Facebook that is just so inspiring and positive. It is filled with women looking to up their style game, up their fashion game. So we are posting daily outfit inspiration. I'm giving you behind the scenes style and fashion tips. We are talking about our self love journeys and posting all sorts of really incredible things. It is such a great, good, feel good group. Um, and we're also sharing some great shopping finds and stuff as well. So I'd love to have you guys come and join me. I will leave the link for that group down below. And if you're gonna join me on Facebook, you may as well head on over to Instagram as that is also where I am incredibly active. I will leave my handle up on the screen, which is just at Christy Russell. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about finding your perfect pair of denim and how to go about doing so is because when I'm personal shopping with my clients or going through their closet, let me tell you that the struggle for finding the perfect jean is real. A lot of women constantly tell me about how they are constantly searching for a great pair of denim that not only feels comfortable and is easy to just whip on and head out the door, but to find a pair that make your butt look good, your thighs look good, your legs look good, your calves look good, basically we just want everything where it should be. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk you through some information that you wanna take into consideration when you're looking for your perfect pair of denim. And I promise you, if you follow these steps, you are going to have the most effortless, easy time in finding a pair that works just seamlessly for you. Now, when you're looking for your perfect pair of denim, the one thing you really wanna take into consideration when you're looking at denim is the color and wash. Now denim comes in such a huge variety of colors. You can see here that I've got some really dark washes and then I've got others that are a little bit lighter in rinse. And you really want to ask yourself what it is you want the denim for. If you are somebody that wants your denim to be an all purpose, use it for all aspects of your life to dress it up and dress it down, all things like that, then you definitely want to get a wash that is as dark as possible. When you get a dark wash, dark washes in a denim always look more dressier and a little bit more polished because they're kind of borrowing from the business aspect of a black pant or a navy pant or something in terms of the color that you would use in a corporate setting. So anything that's a little bit darker will always look a little bit more streamlined and a little bit more elevated. Now, while lighter washes, whether you're doing this or something even lighter for the spring summertime, or you just like the appearance of lighter washes, just keep in mind that the lighter the denim, the more casual the jean. Now that's not to say that you can't toss on a pair of heels and make a pair of light wash boyfriend jeans or flares or skinnies look really chic and dressed up a little bit. But in terms of wearing those to work, if you're going to compare someone that's wearing a dark wash skinny jean versus a light wash skinny jean to work and put them in basically the same outfit, the individual wearing the dark wash denim is going to look just a little bit more polished. And for that reason, that's why I always recommend getting a dark wash skinny jean if you don't have one in your closet already. They're incredibly flattering. Turn to transition them so easily between day and play. So I highly recommend getting a dark, dark wash. On that wash note, you also want to be careful to be mindful of how much distressing is also on the jean. There are a lot of jeans now that have um, different washes like this um, across the thigh or across the knee or across the calf. They're all in different places. And these little horizontal lines that add that light wash on top of it are things that can emphasize an area. So if you are someone that feels a little bit more self-conscious about, let's say your thighs, for example, you want to make sure that this type of distressing is not in that area because it's going to be something that draws attention. And the reason it draws attention is just because the rest of the jean will obviously be much darker. So when you suddenly have like a lighter pop and a little bit of funkiness in that area, it's going to draw the eye in and the eye wants to take in that information in that detail, which is why it will be more of a focal point on your denim. The next and probably most crucial part of a jean that you want to take into consideration 
is the rise. Now, depending on what your body type is, that will sort of determine what kind of rise in a gene you ideally want to look for. Now, so many women tell me when they're looking for a gene that they just want to make sure that they don't get a muffin top. And let me tell you, I kind of hate that word just because a muffin top implies or makes women feel like they are overweight or that they need to lose weight or that there's something gross about their body or that there's something wrong with how they've dressed themselves. And let me tell you, it has nothing to do with you ladies. This all comes down to cut. So yes, if you get the wrong cut for your shape in particular, it will give an illusion of a muffin top, but it is not you that is overweight or needs to work on your body. It's the gene that you got that needs to be changed or switched out for something that's more flattering and made for your body type in particular. Now, if you are somebody that has a standard, an hourglass, or a pear shape body type, then you want a rise on a gene that is at least mid to high. Now a mid rise gene is one that typically falls about an inch below your belly button. It's not something that will hit as low as your hip bone, um, but about an inch below your belly button to your belly button is typical of a mid rise. High rise is typically from the belly button and just above, cause you can get really high waisted pants as well. So somewhere in that gradient from just below your belly button to just above is where anyone with a pear shape, an hourglass or a standard body type will typically want the rise of their pants to come. The reason for that is because an hourglass and a pear shape have a more full or broad hip. So we kind of round out in that area and then cinch in and get a little bit smaller towards the waistline. And it doesn't have to be dramatic towards your waistline, but it does mean that you do have some kind of shape or tailoring in that area and if you are someone that has that shape and you get a gene that is a low rise what tends to happen is that your genes will slip off or you're constantly like tugging at them so they don't fall and that's just because the gene is cut across the wider part of your hip so there's nothing for it to grab at in terms of helping it to not slough off your body when you move or bend down or just go about your day when you have that shape if you get something and you're more of a mid to high rise it will grab at the small of your waist and instead of it slipping off your hips when you're bending down to do something or just going about your day, it won't be able to move any further than the small of your waist um, because that's where you'll start to get broader and the waistband of your jean won't be able to stretch out that way. Not only that, but because it's covering that round, robust part of your body, it will also make sure that you do not get the muffin top that so many people dread. And then bonus, because the small of your waist is typically where you want the focal point to be for a lot of these body types. It also looks incredibly flattering if you want to tuck in a shirt or blouse or whatever into your jean also. If you are somebody that is an H or an O or a V body type, you will want to get something that is a little bit mid to low rise. Now, the reason for that is these body types tend to be a little bit more streamlined through the middle. They tend to be a little bit longer in the torso or a little bit fuller in the torso. So you wanna make sure that you've got something that helps the eye travel downward and sit at the low of your hip instead. Now, a lot of these body types don't necessarily have a lot of definition around the waist. So having something that sits lower on the hip line is really, really flattering. It looks so beautiful. And again, it kind of mimics your shape. The reason I'm suggesting mid to low, especially for an H body type, so that's somebody that is just very rectangular through the body or through the midsection, is because if you were to take a rectangle and chop it in half with a mid or high rise, it's going to make that person look shorter and wider because I've now chopped them in half. So what I wanna do is put a low rise jean on you so it makes the torso look a little bit more elongated, it's a little bit more flattering, and that's why the low rise will look absolutely beautiful. Now the other thing you'll wanna take into consideration based on your body shape and how much curve you have to your body is stretch. If you are a woman that has curves that don't lie to your body, then you definitely want some stretch in your jean. This especially goes for hourglass or pear shaped figures or even an O shape. You definitely want some stretch to your denim as well. And it will make sure that everything really hugs your curves really beautifully and makes your bum, your hips, your thighs, like everything just look flawless. If you are someone that has more of a V shape or an H shape to your body type, then getting something that has a little bit more of a stiffer fabric, or it doesn't have to be stiff, but a traditional fabric or just a minimal stretch will also look absolutely beautiful because it will fall beautifully along the lines of your body. Now, if you guys want to know more about the body types, if you're a little bit confused about what body type you may fall in, you know, what that means for you, depending on what body you have, if you want a full video on body types and how to dress them, then comment down below, let me know, and I will definitely do a full video for you in depth about each body type, how to dress it, 
and what to look for. Now, in terms of jeans, the other thing you really wanna take into consideration are the pockets. I feel like the pockets get so often forgotten about when people talk about denim and they make such a difference in how your backside looks. I don't know anybody that doesn't want their bum to look on point when you're wearing your denim. Obviously, you want a good little tush when you're wearing your jeans. So taking the pocket into consideration is a huge deal. The rule of thumb that you always wanna remember for your jeans, no matter what your body type, is you want the pocket size, so the actual pocket square, you want it to be to scale with each bum cheek. Now the reason for that is it will keep your bottom looking to scale with the denim. If you have a pocket that is too small and it's sitting on a jean, it will make your bum look twice as big. And if you get a pocket that's too oversized and looks like it's swallowing the whole back end of the jean, it's also gonna make your backside look way too small and a little bit saggy. Nobody wants that. And on that note too, you also want to make sure that the pockets are positioned in the right area. Now, if you have a pocket that is hanging low, it sort of creases into your bum and then hangs a little bit below that, it will make your um, booty look a little bit lower and kind of saggy, which you want to be careful of, especially if you're someone that has a low hip anyway. What is the ideal pocket then? What you want to do for a pocket is always make sure that the very base of the pocket, so the crest of the pocket, that this area here, that this section, you want to have it fall ideally right into the crease of your bum or just a smidge above that, and it will look so flattering, especially if you've got the right pocket size. It'll make your bum look great. That's what you're looking for. So now that you know your ideal wash, you know where the pocket should sit, and you know your ideal rise, let's talk a little bit about the cuts and how they should sit. The skinny jeans come in a lot of different lengths. Ideally, for the most flattering cut, you want one to fall around the small of your ankle. Now, some denim brands like to make their skinny jeans a little bit longer, just so they bunch a little bit around the ankle. And while that's definitely a look, it's not quite as streamlined and as flattering as one that sits really beautifully at the small of your ankle. Just like the distressed denim that I was talking about, anytime you have extra detail anywhere, whether it's ruching a fabric, a cuff, um, distressing, a rip, whatever, it's going to draw attention to that portion of your body. And if you're someone that's petite, let's say for example, and you have a lot of ruching towards the end of a denim or a jean or a pant, it's going to make your leg look just a little bit smaller. So if you're someone that already has a very petite canvas to work with anyway, be weary of things like that because it will give the illusion that you've just chopped your leg a little bit. Definitely make the investment in getting the hem cut to your ideal length. It's typically about a $15 alteration. It is a thousand percent worth it don't skip out it's always the little things that make everything else about your outfit look flawless now if you are someone that wants to get back into the traditional boot cut which you'll hear is also another wardrobe classic i have a little bit more information about what kind of boot cut or flare you should ideally have in your wardrobe you're going to want to take a look at yourself in the mirror for this one to see what is ideal for you because it is going to vary for everybody rule of thumb with a flare a boot cut or a bell bottom is you want the f bottom flare of a pant, no matter what it is, to be the same width as the top of your thigh. When you have a flare on the bottom of a pant, so, and the only difference between them is a boot cut is a very small flare, a flare is a little bit wider, and then a bell bottom is even wider than that. So if you are someone that is very curvy, then you'll want something that is more of a bell bottom or a flare because it will match the width of the top of your thigh. And as a result, it will make everything look so streamlined and elongating and beautiful when you wear that. Know and recognize that some brands just cater to certain body types. For example, um, I love yoga jeans for those of you that have more of an hourglass or a pear shape or a standard body type. They are so amazing for women that need a little bit of stretch and something that's mid to high rise. They fit like a friggin' glove and they will be the most comfortable denim you ever wear on your body. Now, Yoga Jeans are a brand that's a Canadian brand. You can order them from Canadian retailers and have them shipped to you if you are outside of Canada. Um, and trust me, they will be worth every friggin' penny. You'll never want to take them off. So I definitely recommend looking into them. But if you don't want to do that, then the other brands that I recommend are DL1961. I think they are also 
beautiful. I also love Good American. They are someone that very much caters to an hourglass shape. They would also be great for a pear shape, especially because of the rise of the denim that they do. So definitely look into those. And if you're on the opposite end and you're a little bit more angular and you want some room maybe around your midsection so it doesn't feel like your denim's digging in, um, I recommend Just Black Denim. They are fantastic. They have this really great fit in the leg, but their waistband is nice and gentle and has this beautiful stretch just so you don't feel like anything's digging in at your waistline. I also love American Eagle for body types like that. They're also a fantastic brand, have a great stretch that works for body types like that. And also Joe Fresh, if you're looking for something more affordable, Joe Fresh is known for their straight cuts, for their straight body types. So they will be wonderful for those kinds of body types. If you need room in the waistband or something lower rise um, or very more angular cut, they're who to go for. You can also tell a lot by a jean by how it looks when it's just laid flat or you can hold them out in your hands as well. So the yoga jeans that I mentioned that are great for those that have a curvy shape, you'll see sort of curves or arcs around the top of the hip going upwards towards the waist. That is a good indicator that'll cinch at the waist so you don't get that gaping at the back and will hold beautifully to your figure. Whereas these ones, you can see are more straight along the hip. So they are better that for somebody that has more of a rectangular body type and will suit them absolutely beautifully. Anyway guys, that is it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't confuse you guys regarding the body types. There's always so much information to cover in each video. I just never feel like I've got enough time. So if you want a full video on body types, how to dress them, how to figure out what body type you are to begin with, then hit me up in the comments down below and let me know. And like I said, please don't forget to come and join the Style Squad on Facebook. I think you guys would absolutely love it. Let me tell you, these ladies are so inspirational. We're having a lot of fun over there. So please come on over, check us out and have some fun. And other than that, guys, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week. I love you so much and I will talk to you again very soon. Mwah. See ya.